Hey, Michael Brandt here with Garage Band LLC. Today, we're just outside of Atlanta. We're meeting up with our friend Dwayne Maddox from Miller Electric, and we're gonna be at the training facility trying some new laser welders. Stay tuned. Been here for 25 years, never seen that sign. Gotta have awesome. some more Miller vintage oh, yeah. stuff. Look at this button. Years. This oh, is so. awesome. Yeah, that had to be early in your career. That's a whole mountain of Miller here. Second, third, fourth, fifth generation, and counting. Multimatic 255, Pipeworks 400, bah! XMT 350, PMPA, that's Pulse. Uh, 70 series wire feeder. What we have over here is a Sinker Wave 300, wireless foot pedals, all the cool stuff. Millimatic 355, Luma Pro 350 MPA. And check it out, XR Luma Feed suitcase. This is cool. This is made just for aluminum. I didn't know this existed. It's got the nice push pull gun. I might have to try to get one of those one day. Uh, Millimatic 255. Love these short, small tables. We need to get one of these for shows. Over here we have a filter, rod storage over there, little Dynasty 210, Multimatic 220 ACDC, and I believe this is the Live Arc system augmented welding and some more big tables another multimatic 220 acdc you got a max star 161 this is another dynasty 300 wow look how small that is dynasty 300 um, millermatic 211 we've had multiple machines of this this makes us our most money in our shop um, spectrum 625 extreme plasma cutter a little plasma cutting station uh this is so nice the bobcat 265 look at this beautiful screen you can toggle around different things i'd really like to get one of these this one only has three hours on it so go to home process and then you can toggle through all this stuff and it'll tell you how to set everything up so rad uh, another filter this here is the delta weld 350 with the intellix elite wire feeder a uh, small Millimatic 142 MIG machine, another Millimatic 355, and what is this one? A Continuum 500. Can you believe all of this is coming home with me to 3301 Curtis Street? That's a lie. Too bad, I wish. Awesome training facility down here in Atlanta with Miller Welders. Hello everybody, Michael Brandt with Garage Band LLC coming to you from Atlanta. That's right, a little bit different tune, not Chattanooga this week, but we are at the training facility in Atlanta with Miller Welders and I wanted to talk about laser safety. So super important, these lasers are very powerful, they can ricochet off of shiny metals, um, they could be a real hazard to you, your employees, your workspace if not properly used. So gloves required, jacket required, laser safety glasses required as well as a laser safety hood bam this one's pretty nice carbon fiber lightweight works really well and then we have what kind of area are we going to use for our laser our laser welder to be operated in so requires a laser safe area it could be a room with interlocks on the door it could be a mobile station like this one here is and so this particular station you know you want to have a marked laser area and uh Got your laser sign here. You're supposed to have a personal uh, or a laser safety officer sign off on this if you are in a uh, manufacturing facility. You can get the enclosures with a see through window so you can see what's going on in there. A lot of places put a camera up, which this one has. We'll show you that. But 
first thing I want to talk about are these two red things right here. These are door interlock systems. So if this circuit is broke and the door is opened and the laser is being used and firing, it automatically shuts the laser off to, protu to protect whoever's about to enter that area so they don't get lasered, right? So that's one interlock system. You can come in, all right? We have the beautiful Optex 2KW uh, laser welding machine for Miller Welders paired along with their Optex wire feeder, which is amazing. This wire feeder is so much better than what I'm used to experiencing and using with our laser system. Uh, hoping to upgrade to this one day soon. Beautiful car, holds two big bottles. Uh, we have a workstation here. When you're laser welding, it does create fumes um, and you would want to have a, a air uh, supply system to get rid of all of the um, bad smoke and stuff. So right here we have a Filter 130. It's just a vacuum type canister with a filter in it. You can turn it up different different um, RPMs according to how much flow you need for when you're welding to be in a safe area. So the other safety feature on this laser system is this continuity strap here. This continuity strap goes to either your workpiece, your table that's connected to the workpiece, and this laser will not fire unless it's making continuity between this circuit. Pull the trigger, once it starts blinking green, you go, you're go ahead and pull the fire laser and you can do your welding, right? So safety is very important, something that you want to consider if you're going to get into laser welding or have laser welding in your facility. And if you have any questions, let us know. We'll guide you through it. Thanks for watching. Okay, look at this beautiful wire feeder. It works so great. It's the Miller Optics wire feeder from Miller Welders. Um, amazing. Comes down through, goes through the cord here, up to your laser handle. And we have the Optic, Optics, uh, Optics 2KW. 2000 watt laser welding system from Miller Welders. Pretty great stuff. We're about to dive in and have a really good time. Check us out. One of the other things that you're gonna to wanna to consider while you're doing laser welding is fume extraction. It could be something as simple as this small canister style vacuum. Here, this is a Miller Filter 130 fume extractor. It's uh, serviceable, it's like a big vacuum. Comes up here, it has several different attachments. Uh, to go ahead and make sure that your workspace is safe and filtered air. Hey, I just wanted to thank our friend Dwayne Maddox. Thank you, Dwayne. I really appreciate the invitation to come down here and play with all this great stuff. I wish my shop was this clean. <laughs> uh, it's not always this clean, but we appreciate you coming down. It's also where we bring customers to train, so if you guys ever have a need, let me know and we'll get you down here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.